A lot of people, when they start out, they have a goal. Maybe they want to get a better body. Maybe they want to start a business. Maybe they want to start a YouTube. They start on the path and they have all this resistance built up inside of them. They don't love the process. The only thing they care about is getting the results. In the book, The Tao Te Ching, they talk about this a lot. They talk about two gardeners and the one gardener, he doesn't care about planting the tree. He doesn't like watering the tree. He doesn't like taking care of his plants. The only thing he cares about is the fruit. He isn't obsessed and in love with life. He doesn't enjoy the actions he takes on a day-to-day -day basis. He, everything is a means to an end. And there's another gardener. That gardener, he absolutely loves his day-to-day -day life. Of course, when the fruit does come, he enjoys it and it tastes amazing. But he is in love with the process of planting the tree and taking care of his plants and watering these plants. And who do you think at the end of the road is going to get the better results? Is it the person who's just obsessed about the results? Or is it the person who loves the process? Obviously, it's the person who loves the process, who is absolutely in love with life, who takes action and enjoys it. Who do you think is going to take better action, more well-calibrated action, who do you think is going to have more of a flow into what they do? The person who's gonna succeed at the end of the day is not the person who wants the result more. Obviously, you do have to have some drive and you do have to have some discipline and you do have to muscle through those hard times when there is resistance and you just have to muscle through it. But most of the time, you have to fall in love with the process. You have to enjoy the action. You need to drop your inner resistance. It's not like you're separate from the process and you're the one taking action on the process. You are the process. You need to become the process. You are the process of doing that results in the outcome. So if you're building your body, you don't want to be coming from the place where working out is such a grind and uh, blah, blah, it's just so hard. Enjoy lifting the weights. Enjoy the pain. Enjoy the feeling. Sorry, I need to adjust my camera. <laughs> Enjoy the feeling that you get in the gym. And if you get obsessed and you fall in love with the feeling that you get in the gym, after three years, you'll have been consistent. But if every single time you go in the gym and you don't enjoy it, the intensity is not gonna be there. You're not gonna be able to produce the results you want. If you're starting a YouTube channel, if you're starting a business, if you're doing something, you need to have that hunger for the outcome, but you also need to fall in love with the process. The latter is more important in my opinion, because if you love the action, whether the result comes or not, you are going to be fulfilled anyway. You fall in love with the process. So plant the tree and fall in love with planting the tree. And if you fall in love with the process, if you fall in love with action, if you fall in love with taking action, the results will come and they will be vastly greater than then action taken from a place of resistance. Be open to experience, be open to action. Stop resisting it. Be one with the process and the results will come. And this is how you can shift your mindset so that you are someone who is turbo charged towards their results with no mental blocks anymore. So fall in love with the process and the results will flow out of you. Go out there and conquer the fucking world.